Who said your business laptop couldn't be sleek, affordable, versatile, and powerful? HP has put together the whole package with the HP Spectre X360, the two-in-one laptop that is sure to make heads turn. My name's Alex Radu. Welcome to All Hands on Tech. The HP Spectre X360 enters the ring at just under a whopping three pounds, and HP didn't sacrifice a thing to get there. In an age where we are used to ultra-thin laptops skipping out on necessary components, the Spectre X360 finds a near-perfect blend. From a design standpoint, HP knocked it out of the park. The Spectre X360 is striking with its copper and black paint job. It stands out compared to other popular laptops that business users are sure to be familiar with. The sleek design is completed with a seamless double hinge where the screen meets the keyboard. And don't worry, all the ports you want are still here too. Like many 2-in-1s, the hinge itself could be a bit tighter. But the Spectre X360 still has one of the stiffest hinges I've used. The laptop is sturdy whether you choose to set it up on a table in laptop mode or in tent mode, but if you do use the touchscreen, you will still have to deal with a wobble, albeit a minor one. Certainly, any wobble or bounce you might experience is nothing compared to how wobbly devices like the Surface Book could get. What I'm most excited about with the Spectre X360 is its ports situation. HP is embracing the future with two USB-C ports that support Thunderbolt 3 and power delivery. As more and more devices switch over to USB-C, we're even closer to a future where you will need just one cord for every task you can imagine with the Spectre X360. That'd be charging, docking to a monitor, or even charging your smartphone. But since we are still a little ways away from this utopian future, the Spectre X360 still has a single USB 3.1 port. The only thing missing is an SD or micro SD card slot, but I'm willing to forgive a laptop that is just one port away from perfection. For its display, HP has opted for a 13.3 inch HD LED touchscreen display with an optional 4K upgrade. While we weren't able to test out the 4K display, the HD LED display is more than enough to satisfy your everyday user. Just look at the latest Thor Ragnarok trailer. It's about as bright and colorful as you would expect it to be. Plus, with reports indicating that the 4K display puts a serious drain on battery life, the standard HD LED display is likely the best option anyway. Speaking of battery life, HP has crammed a larger battery inside a smaller device, boosting the battery life to longer than 10 hours for typical web surfing. That's compared to older HP products that clocked out at around 8.5 hours. So if you're planning on using the Spectre X360 as a dedicated business machine, a full charge will be more than capable of handling a single day of use. As for the Spectre X360's guts, it starts with an Intel Core i5 dual-core processor, 8 gigs of SD RAM, and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. For those craving more power, it can be upgraded to an Intel Core i7 dual-core processor. Our review unit has the base i5 processor, and that's more than enough for what business users can expect to be handling. I have the Spectre X360 hooked up to an extra monitor, and currently have somewhere between 20 and 25 tabs open, plus Spotify, and it works like a breeze. For those who opt for the i7 processor, the Spectre X360 will be able to handle significant usage. I do want to point out a possible heat issue with the Spectre X360. Because of its thin frame, it does struggle with heat management, which became noticeable after 20 minutes of continuous video. Now I'm someone who constantly worries about the keyboards of the devices I'm using. Am I going to be comfortable typing? Will this keyboard live up to my ridiculously high standards? Thankfully, HP has been listening to anxious users like myself. The Spectre X360 has one of the best keyboards I've used, period. The Spectre X360 can come with optional stylus support, which for the most part works exactly as you'd expect. I wasn't expecting the HP stylus to live up to the standards set by Microsoft's Surface Pen, but it's largely a comparable experience. The HP stylus just lacks one important aspect, a magnetic resting place. So for now, you'll have to rely on carrying the stylus around in a bag or pocket. Here in Canada, the Spectre X360 starts at $1,600 and can go as high as just shy of $2,100. It's a comparable price to its competitors, and as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the best hybrid devices on the market. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you really liked it, why not subscribe as well? And be sure to let us know what you think about the Spectre X360 in the comments below. My name's Alex Radu. Thanks for watching.